Hello, I'm Richard Norman, the Field Services Training Leader for Monitoring and Diagnostics with GE Grid Solutions UK Limited. This how-to video I will take you through the operation and setup for the gas measurement option with GE's portable DGA monitor. When a gas sample has been collected from the Bockholz gas trap, it should be transferred into the 5ml gas syringe provided. If the gas sample is to be extracted with the 5ml syringe, care should be taken to limit any oil from the gas sample. On the device touchscreen, select New Measurement. Enter all transformer or asset details as requested by the device. When sample type selection is requested, select gas. From here, continue to complete all information screens to commence the measurement. Before proceeding with the measurement, ensure the alarm and caution gas levels are set to your requirements. When the measurement is completed, you can immediately review the results on the HMI. If any alarms or caution levels have been exceeded, they will be highlighted for your attention. An air purging time of 5 minutes should be sufficient. However, if the device hasn't been used for a period of longer than 30 days, increase the purging time to an extended period. Note, the magnetic stirrer is not required for the gas measurement. Whichever type of syringe connection you may have, the process is the same. Watch the timer countdown as you will have 90 second window to inject the gas sample. To inject the sample you will require the quick connector from the device accessories kit. Insert the quick connector into the stopcock and follow the procedure as demonstrated. On hearing the audible beep Insert the syringe by pulling down the collar on the sample bottle. Insert the gas syringe and release the collar. Maintaining a slight pressure on the plunger, adjust the syringe stopcock to allow the gas sample to flow into the sample bottle. Holding the syringe, now raise and lower the plunger a further four times. This will ensure a good mixture of air and gas in the sample bottle. Great care should be taken during the mixing process to ensure the plunger is not fully extracted. When complete, do not adjust the stopcock. Only pull down on the quick release collar and remove the syringe. Immediately press next on the touchscreen to continue the measurement. If the 90 second window is missed or times out, you will have to recommence the measurement cycle. If any alarms or caution levels have been exceeded, they will be highlighted for your attention. When completed, follow the on-screen prompts to ready the device for the next measurement. At the end of the measurement, you can review, analyse and print the results.
Thank you for watching this how-to video. Check out this YouTube channel for other GE M&D how-to videos.